Hey there, Tall Man Clan. We are in Salem, Virginia. We've left Florida and we've gone to the mountains. And we are at American Family RV in Salem. Salem is just outside of Roanoke, okay? So give you a geographical area, okay? Absolutely amazing people. Come see them and say hello. We are looking at a sport trek, okay? The model number is 241 VMS. So come on. We always like to start up here. Look at this big storage, right? I mean, you could put, we, we uh, carry uh, bins with us, which you normally have to go through this way, but I, I mean, holy moly, lots of storage in here, okay, which is great. If you pan back, Lisa, there's an awning that covers about three quarters, maybe even 80% of the entire side, which is awesome, okay? Also, manual jacks, and so when you get to where you're going, you just use a little crank thing and stabilize, okay? You got yourself a step above step, and then right here, come here, come, look at this. You know what this is? Blinder. Blinder. Awesome. You got a little outdoor kitchen. Got a little sink, a little mini fridge, where you'd keep all that bud. Lines. Err. Anyway, all right, on to the back. Okay, so uh, you have a ladder mounted, which is great. So if you're getting up to the roof for inspections, it's already there. Um, there is a pre-wiring in place for a, a backup camera, your on backup camera. Shower, there's a, a utility mount, I call it a, the extra hitch, if you will, for mounting uh, accessories, uh, a tray or stuff like that. So if you want to carry bikes, you can do that. Anyway, come on. Over here, this is where you connect your sewer, right here in the back, okay. I'm up in the mountain. The mountain air is killing me. Actually, we're about a thousand feet up. Roanoke's not too high, but anyway. Uh, this is where you hook up your power. It's 30 amps. Okay. Here is the other side of your pass-through storage. Okay. Let's uh, let's check out the numbers on this one, Lisa. Where are we with this one? Let me see. We are have a gross vehicle weight of. 7,350 pounds, which is not too bad at all. And you have a cargo carrying capacity of 1720. Again, 1,720 pounds carrying capacity. That is absolutely awesome, okay? Up here to the front, you've got two 20 pound tanks already mounted, an electric jack, again, which is great, I love it. Just hit the button, it comes off the truck on its own. And you do have a spot for two batteries already there, which is great. And that, by the way, this is a battery disconnect. So if you're gonna park your RV for a while, you just turn that, it completely cuts off the power so it doesn't drain the batteries at all. So we're gonna go inside, but let me tell you, before we do, this has got to be the cutest trailer that we've ever seen. We absolutely love this one, come here. Look at the decor in here. Before we actually get into detail, I just, I hope the camera shows this off. We, uh, Lisa came in here and looked while uh, I was uh, getting uh, ready to do some other filming and she came home and she goes, Rob, this is the, the, the cutest trailer that I've ever seen. We have to film it. And so, I mean, just look at the decor in here. Just absolutely beautiful, right? Right down to they had the engraving Adventure RV on the, the little uh, cutting board there. So just absolutely awesome. So, you know what, since we profiled, we'll, we'll start in the bedroom this time, okay? You've got hanging space left and right and this hanging space is a lot deeper than most hanging space that we normally see i absolutely love that there are some nooks back there all right there's some power all right and usb and power that's for putting your phone and stuff at night which is why you get that extra storage great use of space you do have storage up above now the bed itself this has got to be uh, I bet that's a residential queen, okay? And since it's north to south, um, there's plenty of leg room if you're tall. Um, for those who don't know, uh, I'm six foot four, all right? And so um, use my height as reference as we're going through this RV. Now, as you can see, this is sort of split doors, which gives this its sort of unique feel. Um, now there is a spot to mount a TV. I'm not gonna bring it back in there, but if you wanna put a TV in here, there's a spot to mount the TV, okay? Now, outside of here, there's some storage here, right, which is amazing. Got some storage up top. Up top here, this is where your control panel is. So when you come in, this is where your slide, your awning, 
your hot water heater, all that stuff, your lights, that all is behind here, okay? As well as a place to hang your coats and hide them away. To the left of the door, look at this, Lisa. Look Isn't at that, that nice? sucker. Absolutely gigantic. I mean, just so much storage space in here, okay? Right here is also a gigantic banquette. I mean, which also does convert to a bed, okay? But uh, very comfortable seating, okay? A huge window behind it. Now, now across from the banquette, that's your TV, right? your entertainment center. Okay, I just, I love the wood. Just, just, oh, it looks so good in here, okay? All right, you got RV um, Technologies, uh, uh, the audio system installed, which is also a DVD player, some storage. Obviously, you see the fireplace down there, which is Lisa's favorite, okay? And then just next to that is our kitchen, which is great. A little corner kitchen, right? Yeah, I mean, look at this. This is so so comfortable and cozy. I love it. Uh, it you know, if you like the country kind of look, this is this is perfect. Um, you know, like you said, it's it's there's it's the little details like the the Ventura RV and the cutting board and the the artwork that that's hung. Yeah, it's just. Yeah. So, yeah, it's just so inviting. And, and the whitewashed cabinets as opposed to the, the, the darker wood there or the wood grain look there. It just, it really... Well done. Yeah, well, well done. Well done. Okay, so come on into the kitchen. Um, we have a microwave. We have that r mounted right over our three-burner stove. This unit does have an oven. Um, we do have the corner sink. It is the, um, the big single basin. I love the faucet. Um, cabinetry above. And it's deep storage. Yeah, and it goes all the way into that corner, by the way. It goes all the way back there. Nice. <laughs> You'll need a picker, you know, like one of those little uh, <laughs> squeezy things to get the stuff from the back. <laughs> yeah, and some of the, the travel trailers, the cabinetry is, they're um, short. Yeah. So you can't put your plates in there. Yeah, these are really deep. Yeah, they're very deep. Um, we have some, some drawers over on this side. <coughs> Excuse me, everybody. Storage underneath, oh, yeah. and that sure. goes all the way back yep. there too. That's a so great place for your nice. trash cans. Yes, um, we do have the little sidebar area with an outlet. Yep. Having a tree above. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. Having a tree below. Yeah, and then the refrigerator. The refrigerator's on this side. Yeah. Yeah. Now that's 12 volt, guys. So that will run off your batteries. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, just absolutely beautiful in here. I agree. Just couldn't I say agree. that enough. All right. Well, y'all know what time it is. It's time for... Thomas Toilet Test. <laughs> Again, I can't remember if I mentioned or not, but I am six foot four, so please use my height as reference as we're, you know, looking at the beds and the toilets and the showers and things like that, okay? We want to make sure that you know that you fit in here pretty good, okay? So, being my height, I am on a porcelain foot flush toilet, and I have plenty of space. Now, my foot is touching right here, but it's not been impeded at all. It's literally perfect. So definitely two thumbs. <laughs> to my left is the sink, all right? A nice size sink, decent size countertop, which is great, so there's extra room for all your toiletries and stuff. There is a spot down here for storage, so you can put your toilet paper and different things like that, cleaning stuff. You got a nice little vanity slash medicine chest. And if I'm standing up, I can see my whole self in here, which is just awesome. Right here is a spot for towels, and look at how deep that is. You can store towels for a football team in there. <laughs> Good Lord! You don't have to worry about towel storage in here. All right, let's get in this shower. <laughs> was I kidding? No, you're not. That was that was huge. <laughs> yeah. All right, again, six foot four guys. This is perfect, right? My head's, you know, I'm not even close. So all you tall, tall guys that are taller than me, this is great height in here, okay? Plenty of width, plenty of depth. There's some place for storing soaps and shampoos. Got a kind of a nice upgraded uh, shower head in here as well. The only thing I don't like is the shower curtain and that can be easily rectified. Uh, we actually did a, a video about uh, shower doors and shower curtains. We, we left a link down there, you should check that out. But uh, uh, love it, love it, love it. All right, so let us know what you think about this RV. I can't say enough, I mean, this is sort of the decor and the flavor that we like. I mean, it's just so warm and so rich. Uh, now, we're looking for something a little bit bigger, you know, for our full-time lifestyle. But if this fits yours, boy, I hope you give these people a call. Absolutely amazing. Uh, but make sure if you call them, you tell them the tall man sent you, all right? Guys, if this is the first time you found us, thank you for stopping. You guys definitely know what to do. Hit that thumbs up, right? 
for all the Tall Man Clan. We thank you guys over and over again. We appreciate you. God bless you. And until we see you all again on the road, be safe.